Hey everyone, it is the Bargain Bounty Hunter here, and I got a package from Amazon. Let's open it and get into it. All right, so here's the package. Just got it in today. Excited to open it up. This one, I might not even need any scissors for it. Maybe not. Maybe we need both. Boom. Where's the right front? There is front. So what is this? My Gika. I think I'm saying that right. My Gika. USB video capture device. So while I was home on a stay at home order for my state, I started thinking about things that I could do while I was home. And this is one of the things that popped into my head. We have, like every family, a bunch of old VHS tapes that have family vacations and all parties and all kinds of things on the tapes. And like most families, we don't use the, DV, the, v, the uh, VCR anymore, or rarely, if ever. So I thought, what if I could digitize my my old v, my old VHS tapes? So, yeah, let's open this thing up. Pretty easy. Got the tape at the top. It does not want to come out. Okay. So first thing you're going to discover is this does not want to leave the actual packaging. There we go. Kind of a nondescript box. Voila. Not much to look at. Actually, it's kind of incredible to think that this, this device right here is all that it's going to take to turn this into a digital file well in theory anyways let's hope that's what it's going to take but yeah that's it this piece here it's got some contact paper on it plugs into your usb this side here plugs into your vcr or your s video if you want um i'm going to be using their this jack here, the red, yellow, and white. Somewhere here, oh, look it. They even gave you an extra cord if you didn't have one. I already had one, but an extra is not bad. Here's the software that you're gonna need. It is ArcSoft software. This MyGiga software. And there's a little instruction book. That comes in this package. That is all that is in this box. Now, I'm not even gonna bother opening this because I have, I have one. I, brought, I came prepared, but I will need these things. Now, my PC is actually, doesn't have a, doesn't have a CD-ROM. I'm curious to see if this is actually a CD-ROM or if it's a DVD. So I'm gonna open it up and look if it's a... Uh, doesn't actually say. Guessing it's just a CD-ROM? We'll find out. There is on the back side of this. There's a little code that you need to put in to activate the software. So make sure you have that handy and don't get rid of that little paper thing until you get your software all installed. But I'm gonna cut to some of the stuff that's not really that exciting. Now, one of the things I did actually have is an old VCR. Now this is a VCR DVD combo. So I don't think it really matters. But we're gonna 
we're gonna jump to the interesting parts of digitizing our old VHS tapes. So bear with me. A few moments later. While the software installs, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about some of the specifics of the item, which I forgot to do in the intro. Sorry about that. So like I said, this um, is a My, My Gika, G-I-C-A, um, USB video audio capture VHS to DVD. Um, and it's the one for Windows. I got it on the store by the name My, My Gika. And um, this item was not the most expensive by far. I went cheap on this. Looks like my software is just about done. So let's get back to the install. Soon after. Yay. Uh -oh. I don't think it's a big deal, but I was just reading the instructions and it tells me that I should install the driver first before I install the software. I did the opposite. Why don't I ever read instructions? Well, let's try installing the driver. Another load screen. More moments later. Another fail. Apparently, I need to have the device actually in the USB before I download the driver so it can find the device. Yes, I am a noob at this. Let's try that again. Second time's a charm. Another box. And uh, uh, I'm gonna say install. And we have success. Let's click okay and see. Let's see if the software opens up now. I think everything's installed. So if I did it right, we should be able to open this ArcSoft Showbiz software. Here it is. Interesting. So, go over to Capture. I'm gonna select the source here. I wanna go, okay. Wow. No, I don't want that on. So I'm going to, right now it has the source set as my webcam. Oh my goodness. Please close. I'm going to select, ah, okay, give me a sec. For some reason, every time this thing wants to open something else on me, I am trying to get to, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to just see if I can move this over here and so it'll be out of my way. I really just want to go and collect, pick the USB 2.0 capture, video capture, because that's the device that I just installed. So I want to make sure that that's selected. This is a little bit of an older laptop, so if it takes a little time, that's probably why. Let's see, I want the composite video for my input. I'm guessing that's... Yeah, I don't want this video on like composite. The audio, I think I want this analog audio in. So it's making a funny noise. But the aspect ratio, can I go 6.9? I don't know how that's gonna look with an old VHS. So maybe I'll stick with the 4.3. Master volume, that's all there is there. Now, I'm curious if, uh, I don't know what this context and Polaris audio capture is. Maybe I'll try it that way. There's nothing in the instruction manual about that. And I can see there wasn't really much in here. It's more about how to download the software. So, I have, no, I have nothing in there. Let's put an old home movie in. Movie in. This has, uh, according to this, these crudely drawn things here that were written by my father, some of video from our old house. We got stuff going back to 1987 in here. So 
let's put it in. So I just put in the tape into the VCR. It's all connected correctly, I believe. The only thing I'm not completely sure of is the audio. Let's see if we can capture this. So I'm gonna hit the capture button here, which it shows that it's recording down here. And then I'm going to hit play. A 3-2 to Euclid. So on the ground to shortstop, bobbled for a moment by Ibar, collects and throws, and still gets Euclid. Nice play Apparently, by Ibar, quick bobble. On this and gets VHS. At first base. Yeah, Someone recorded over Here's the our family memories with the Red Sox game the from the ALDS. I have right no idea what year this is. Ibar's got terrific physical skills, wow. and after the bobble, but he stayed with it. The good thing is, I'm actually stronger, watching. It strong, does look like it's capturing. Let's see how this works. If I play it back, I'm eight. curious Jason how the digital Day, the files are. So, how did it do? Well, let's see. I was a little worried about the audio, so we're gonna do some playback here. This is what it captured from the VHS that I was playing. Now, that was just the VHS, but it cleans up, and it looks pretty clear. So I got everything that I recorded. So all I did was, it ended up putting the video up here, I dragged it down to here, into this timeline. I'm not going to put any um, transitions or anything in, but you can up here, there's transitions, there's effects, there's text, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with your video after you put it in here. And then, I'm going to just move over to produce, and I'm going to go here. So you can create a DVD, create a file, or you can upload it right to YouTube. I just want to create a file. It gives me the option to put it where I want it. Let's cancel that for now. I'm gonna just make on my desktop a folder that I'm gonna call Old Home Movies. Perfect. Let's just browse. So it's gonna put it this DVD format, high quality. Sure. Just gonna select the browse and I'm going to go to my desktop. And I'm gonna look for old, old home movies. And I'm just gonna save it. I don't care the name, I can rename it later. And then start. So let's see how long that takes. So it's going pretty quickly. Boom, create process, okay. Now, in my old home movies, I have this file. <laughs> I mean, besides the beginning being a little fuzzy, there you go. It works. Not too shabby. So, let me talk about my thoughts about this um, MyGika USB VHS to digital files, whatever you want to call it, capture device. Um, it works. It works pretty good. The software and the manual leave a little bit to be desired, but you can probably upgrade and get better software if you really wanted to. Um, you may have, uh, the reason I had to use this old laptop and not my nice PC that I have is because I don't have a CD-ROM disc anymore, a CD-ROM drive. I thought about getting an, an, an external one, but I really don't think I'll need it for anything else. So I was like, ah, it's kind of, kind of a waste of money. I thought about um, installing it on my wife's PC and then moving it onto a flash drive and then putting it over. But it felt like it was a lot of extra steps. So why not just use this laptop that we have? That's it's, it's dated, but if it can run it on the laptop, that's great because that means I can set a uh, VHS up and let it run. We have Florida va a vacation from Florida when we went to Disney back when we were kids. And it is like eight hours of actual video. I can just let that thing run for a day on my lap on the laptop and just leave it and don't worry about it. I'll come back to it when it's all done. So 
yeah, so, I mean, there's some, some upside of just having it on a laptop that I can use separately. Um, but overall, for $16.99, to be able to digitize and take all these old home videos and turn them into something that can fit on a thumb drive or a flash drive, that's great. I, I really am excited about that. And that's my kind of my plan. Um, is to, to digitize them all, put them all on a thumb drive, and then if my parents wanna look at them, well, here you go, here's the thumb drive. If my sister wants to look at them, here's the thumb drive, go ahead, they're all on there. Um, and then doing the same thing for, for my wife's family as well, having all their home movies digitized. And that'll be great for our son, because he's, he's just a, a baby, but when he gets older, to be able to see some of our old, our old videos, and we don't have to lug out the old VCR. And uh, yeah, and speaking of VCRs, if you don't have a VCR, I'm I'm under the impression from what I heard anyways from other people that you can buy them on eBay. I haven't really done any searching around because I knew I had one. I don't know how expensive they are. I, they shouldn't be that much expensive. They probably also have them at like, if you have a pawn shop in your neighborhood or in your town, you can probably go down there and get an old v, uh, VCR, pretty inexpensive, I would think. Who really wants them? Maybe you even find one at your old tra transfer station or dump. But yeah, so overall, I'm pretty stoked about what I'm gonna be able to do with, with digitizing my old VHS tapes. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And until next time, 